We have an enormous task on our hands today. One job that I haven't been looking forward to since the start, but the day has finally come. And it is to install a diesel heater. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. I never have been looking forward to it. it means I've got to drill a hole in the bottom of the van and drill into my fuel tank as well. So we will see how we get on. So the first thing we need to do is make up the diesel heater. I have a turret to make up. I did have the 35mm turret, but it's not going to be long enough. So I ordered a 65mm turret just to make sure that it does go through the bottom of the van and to the underside with no gaps. So what we need to do is attach the turret to the diesel heater. And then we need to make it up by putting the air intake on, the fuel line on and the exhaust on. Um, I do have the Bible of diesel heaters. Um, well, this diesel heater. So I'm going to be reading this thoroughly and hopefully it will go well. But we will see how we get on. So let's get straight into it make up this bad boy of a diesel heater. I've made up the diesel heater. I think it's taken me over an hour just because I was just staring at it like, what am I doing? But it's made up. Um, it is absolutely lashing it down with rain today, so I won't be able to get much done on the outside of things. Um, but we're going to drill the hole, hopefully, which makes me nervous. And then probably continue tomorrow, I should imagine. But it's made up. That is... That is one thing right <laughs> yeah i don't know i'm reading the instructions and it's just going over my head so also i dropped my camera in coffee and i need to put it in rice well no not rice i need to let it dry out so sorry if there's a little mark there which there is um yeah it is what it is the lens went straight into the coffee <sighs> good day let's cut the hole out Yesterday was a pretty bad day. I dropped my camera in coffee, the lens started to condense up, so I put it in rice, it worked, we're good. Um, and it was absolutely pouring down with rain yesterday. Even though it's raining now, it is meant to stop in a minute. So yeah, what we done yesterday was we made this up and we drilled the hole. So main worry is over. And now we are going to continue with the diesel heater. We're gonna we're gonna fit it in the hole and then we're gonna clip up the air intake the exhaust and then the nervous bit for me is linking up the fuel line for it which i'm not looking forward to but uh let's get on with it hopefully this rain clears up it should do but um exciting okay so first thing we're gonna do is the air intake and that needs to be pointing towards the back of the van. So, maybe there. I think, maybe, I'm thinking. Um, I 
then that's going to be the next button. Okay. Right, a little bit hard to uh, record down here, but now we've got the air intake in. We're going to do the exhaust, and we have a silencer here that we need to attach. Um, we need the exhaust to be away from the air intake, and also with the silencer, needed to drill a hole in the bottom to avoid, to basically let it drain down of any moisture or condensation. So I think what we're going to do is try and attach it up here somewhere and then divert the exhaust elsewhere. That's what I'm thinking of doing, but it's never as simple as it looks really. So, we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go, I think. Thinking, maybe even here. Yeah, possibly there, we'll give it a go. Then we have this insulation sleeve to go on. Hopefully that will go on pretty okay, maybe. There we go. And then I'll make it so you can actually see. I do need to finish this off because one of the screws for one of these clips snapped yesterday, so I have ordered another one so we can partially complete the exhaust, but not fully. So, right, so that's on. Let's see if we can get the silencer in there. Beautiful. And then, in case of tightening this bad boy back up. Nice bit of hat hair. Right, so the exhaust is done primarily. We do need to wait for this extra clip because I did snap a bolt on that. Um, the air intake is done. Now, what's left on the underside of the Vanaruni is the most scary part, and that is the fuel line. God, my hair is wild. <laughs> um, but it's pouring down with rain right now. Um, it's very intermittent. There's sunny spells, rainy spells, so I'm just kind of doing it when the rain goes. But once the fuel line is in, everything else is inside, so it should be okay. But I am... Um, scared as to drill into the fuel tank. I'm such a snowflake, but uh, I think I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, that's a complete lie. But when the rain stops, we are going to do it. Oh, I am not looking forward to this, but it needs to be done. We're gonna go there, I think. Oh my god, holy shit, we have a hole in the fuel tank. Okay, so that needs to go in there, but we need to, ooh, smells of diesel, <laughs> but we need to cut it down. Holy shit, okay, right, so. That goes like that. Right, okay. That needs to just cut it. 
So, there, I think. My anxiety right now is way up here. Oh my god. I never want to do that again, that was horrible. But we done it, I think. Um, did CT1 it as well, because CT1 is chemical resistant, so yeah. Um, yeah, I never want to do that again. Let's uh, finish piping up the fuel line. <laughs> oh, why do I do this? Right, so my GoPro didn't record for some reason. I don't know why, but the fuel line is in, I think. Um, see if we can get under and show you. So, fuel line's in, the pump is here, I think. Yep, and then it runs all the way back to the diesel heater. So, yeah, I think next thing is, well, the last thing is all the wiring. So I'll be glad to get out from underneath this bloody van. It's been raining all day, well, on and off. I'm wet, I'm filthy. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, we're getting there. So now we're gonna be connecting up all the electrical bit. This is probably the easier part. It's literally just a plug and play. So there's only really one way these can go. So that's in there. That's for the control harness. Then we've got the power supply, which goes in this one, I think. Yep. And then we have the fuel pump harness again plug in just like that we do need to take the fuel pump the fuel harness down under the van that's the only thing we need to do left under the van and then we got this which is oh what's that that is not good And then we've got this is the power supply that connects up to the batteries and then these are some fuses so what we're probably going to do is bring that round up here maybe and then we'll tidy it up or something it is quite long i might might cut it down but yeah we need to take this down into the to the fuel pump but yeah we'll do that now I think and then we will maybe try and put this somewhere don't really know it's a bit of an awkward place really because my fridge is going there I might have to move my fridge over a little bit but we'll see that's can't believe saying that but that electrical side of things is the easiest part nice okay so I have just ran the control unit to here. It's the way you turn on the heat in it and control it. I was going to have it over there by the switch panel, but one, the cable in isn't long enough, so that cable in is obsolete now. And two, a little thought. This obviously is where the bed is. Um, if you want to turn on the heat in, you don't have to get out of bed. Like if, if it's cold in the morning or something like that, you know, you can just switch it on right by your bedside. So. I think that is quite a wise thing to do and it fits quite nicely there as well. So yeah, um, I think what we're going to do now is run the duct in. Run the duct in into the actual main living space so we can get it through into this area. So yeah, let's, let's do that. I'm quite happy with how today's gone. It's taken a while. It has taken a while, but 
we're getting there and that's the most important thing. I can't believe we have done it. There we go. The vent is in. It's not quite central for my liking, but it is what it is. I might try and change it another time, but I don't know if you can see. The diesel heater is in. It's all piped up underneath. The control panel is going to go there on the finals. I'm honestly, I'm honestly over the moon. I am honestly over the moon. Doing the diesel heater was one of the things that I was dreading the most. It just made my anxiety flare up so much, but it's in and I hope it works. The only, I, I can't see why it wouldn't work. I've left all the wiring harness down there for now because obviously we haven't got any batteries or anything yet. So we'll address that at a later date. But honestly, I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. <sighs> this deserves a like. If you haven't liked that button, hit that like button already. Just do it because <laughs> I'm, I'm so proud of myself. I really am. Felt like giving up. Many times felt like I was giving up, even today. But we did it. We, we did it. But yeah, that is the end of what a very productive episode, a very productive weekend it's been. Um, if you did enjoy this video, give us a little thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button because the more we get on with this van, the more it's really taking shape and it's looking like an inhabitable place. And the adventures do not stop there. Once this is done, I will be taking you on every adventure we go in this van and around Europe. So stick around. And we will, we'll, I can't speak. And we will see you in the next episode. Peace out.